All right. Now we got uh, Jim Shannon. Just click on it. We don't need a little speech. resume. Jim Shannon. Can you hear me, guys? I can hear you, guy. What's going on? Are you Canadian? All right. Awesome. Yeah, it's Fannin, by the way. But, uh, that's cool. Uh, I am Canadian. Call from St. Catharines, south, shore, uh, south side of uh, Lake Ontario, across the lake from Toronto. Near you, Niagara Falls. Are you guys near but, Sandbanks? Uh, some... Sorry, go again? Are you near Sandbanks at all? No, near Niagara Falls. Okay. So across from Toronto on the lake, anyway. So Can far from Sandbanks. for that kid, man? So you're real far from Sandbanks? But, Dude, sandbags. I never heard of it. What is it? It's a huge beach in Ontario, southern Ontario. Oh, we got Shirkston, we got Long Beach, Crystal Beach, we got Morgan's Point, we got all kinds of lakeside parks right, I'm gonna, right down the street. I'm gonna Google this. Sunset Beach. No, I never heard of sandbags, man. Uh, okay, I don't get know to your if question. You were thinking about the same location. Uh, anyway, I want to comment first before the question, but uh, would you get some equipment for that kid, you cheap bastard? I mean, com- complaining about ink, you are your father's son, man. Like, come on. What but equipment? Ryan, come on. Don't shit in the studio. Regulate yourself, jackass. And I, <laughs> Anyway, I think you're one of mo- the most important media personalities. Today. You're the first guy to get my money. I've never paid for content. I'm a new guy here. Uh, and that's what I appreciate about you. But uh, if you need a video switcher or Joe Boy to take a load off Ryan and port my ass. Anyways, I do have a question. If you self-censor, how? Me personally? Yeah, are you self-censoring now at all? And if so, how? Um, I, I Very, very tiny bit. Like just stuff that I don't want to ostracize people if there's someone in the room. Like say a, a porn on the Gavin McInnes show, I'd have a porn star on the show and she could be naked or something like that. I'm, I'm dialing that back a bit because I don't want people to have to worry about the kids walking by the living room. And I try to take it easy on the swearing, but no, there's no self-censoring on this show. This is free speech. You can say anything. And I just looked up Sandbanks. Dude, it's like four hours from you. I'm sorry. You're near Buffalo and it's okay. near Kingston. Yeah, I'm near right near Niagara Falls, and it's you're right. The Niagara Falls and, the, and Buffalo border is not far along, and that we get the you know back in the day we used to get the big influence of the TV stations from over there because we're close, right? You yeah. can get them better than you can get Toronto stations. So, yeah, I'm right on the border. But uh, I love your work, brother. I'm proud of you both. Uh, Ryan is a fuck up, but buy him some fucking computers, man. What do you he mean buy him some computers? We have a te- we have if a tricaster here. We have a twenty five thousand dollar tricaster. What equipment are we missing? Well, I yeah, want well, computers. I don't know. I don't know what you're missing. Tricast is a good start. But Start. if you're lagging, it's because you don't have enough RAM or something. I don't know. I'm Thank a you, sir. Guy. I love you. I am out. Later. Peace. Peace. I need new computers. New computers. That's you sound like a, a an couple. immigrant. Uh, an immigrant going. I need to have new shoes. I want computer. Like when you see those refugees complaining at the at the German refugee camps, and they're like, "We don't have enough shoes. The they wifi. have no Wi-Fi. Yeah. The Wi-Fi no working. The food's disgusting." You're a refugee. I thought you were coming from a war-torn country. <laughs> we got uh, Sean Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Go ahead, Sean. Gavin, uh, plot for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a struggling actor in the 60s. His uh, stunt double is Brad Pitt. Living next to him is Sharon Tate. And uh, what Tarantino does is he works the Manson murders into it in the only way that Tarantino would. But I, something about the way that he used the story to change it, I think he's making a reflection upon the youth of today. Um, it's a 